Well, there's there's a nuance down there. I hope I'm not shaking my head too much. By the way, this this, this is my new hat cam, third generation hat cam. It actually uh, runs on Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth, which uh, normally is good, except that there's so much Wi-Fi going on in this conference center right now, uh, it can uh, cause an occasional glitch. And look, we are to aisle 3800. Okay, we're moving along here. So, of course, I'm looking at the signs. Someone else, you guys watching the video here, can tell whether people are staring at me because I do have a, I do have a camera on my head. And so there's nuance. I've had I did two interviews, one with uh, Dr. Nick uh, Van Hayden, uh, the chief medical informatics officer, uh, and the other with uh, Jonathan Dreyer uh, on their workflow and natural language processing uh, technology. I think people kind of view them as a natural language processing company, but in fact. Uh, they have considerable uh, workflow technology chops, uh, which, which I write about. Okay, so we're down to Greenway. Uh -huh, previous life uh, competed with them. And see Quadramed, Varian, Zinx Health, First Data Bank, uh, dealt with uh, First Data Bank uh, drug uh, databases, integrating those into uh, an EHR. Okay, McKesson. McKesson and uh, okay, Accenture. Now, Accenture has got, they've got some, uh, their radiology information systems kind of have workflow management system kind of stamped all over it in terms, of, and they talk about work lists, unified work lists, uh, workload balancing, and workflow management uh, relative to image management. Uh, so they're one of my uh, POW hit. Profiles, which you can find, by the way, at ehrworkflow.com. Oh, let's see how we're doing here. So, we are uh, not quite halfway. Okay, so, so Relay Health, Oracle. Now, some of the larger companies here, uh, like Oracle, uh, you know, you can think of them, you think of databases. Of course, they have a lot of different technologies. I've, I've seen some wonderful presentations from Oracle about business process management. Uh, it's, it's going to be interesting to see uh, when, you know, sort of the non-healthcare business process management horizontal division, you know, gets pulled in to deal with some of the workflow uh, issues as, as the sort of workflow data uh, base uh, initiatives uh, encounter those workflow issues. So, okay, um, we are going to stick on the aisle here. I'm sure we're missing some people off on the on the uh, the, the sides here. Uh, I think I looked at the map. I think there's about 20 or 30 of the uh, of the POW hit uh, profiles are actually right with, visible here within from the mandatory center aisle. So, uh, okay, Hims Analytics Analytics very big. Uh, by the way, um, uh, I, I, under the uh, in the exhibitor categories, the two largest categories were uh, meaningful use. There were over a hundred exhibitors here that uh, you know ca had self-selected and said, "Yes, we are a player in the meaningful use category," and over a hundred in the HIE Health Information Exchange category. Uh, those were the two largest. I'm not sure if any others were even above a hundred. Those were like 120. Uh, exhibitors. Okay, Kronos. Uh, lots of interesting relationships between workforce management and workflow management, besides the fact that they share uh, <clears throat> so many letters, because work, uh, steps in a workflow consume resources, and in healthcare, the most expensive resources are the people. So, 60, 70 percent uh, at least of uh, the cost of a patient encounter from beginning to end or uh, in, in either a hospital or a physician's office. Is, is, is really, you know, uh, costs of highly paid, uh, expensive folks, uh, which is uh, one of the values. There's FormFast. Um, uh, need to be added to, uh, as a POW hit profile, um, FormFast has got a workflow engine, forms that uh, users can create. Uh, uh, so, so the general idea is you don't have to go back to a programmer, a C-sharp programmer, or a Java programmer to, to, to create a form and to edit it. Um, and uh, it, it's, it's form fast. Their, uh, their uh, tagline is automating hospital workflows. So that's a fantastic uh, 
tagline. Okay, Space Labs, Hospira, uh, Trolley Stop, I don't want that. Uh, motion, and uh, Citrix, uh, Samsung, of course I have a, I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, Nexus, which I love. Uh, and T-Mobile is also my, uh, my telco. And been with them for, gosh, 11 years. So, um, okay, oh, there's a baseball. Okay, class, I've interacted with class before. Uh, great people, uh, uh, valuable service. Uh, interesting, to, interesting to know, uh, take a look at their, um, their survey instruments and so forth, see how they deal with workflow. Uh, I've actually written, on, on my blog, there is a, uh, a, a, a survey of, wor of EHR workflow management systems uh, features and functions, uh, which I've uh, published under Creative Commons. Uh, I occasionally get interaction from folks interested in doing something with that. Uh, and it has to do with things like uh, role-based workflows, and is there a workflow engine, is it proprietary, is it a third party? Uh, please show an example of a graphical edit. Um, can workflows be escalated if, if, if they take too long? So, Glossera, Prima. Okay, Fujitsu, yeah, Fujitsu. Uh, has a, uh, I think it's an inter, interstage BPM system, as well as an automated uh, process discovery system, uh, process mining, uh, which has an incredible, um, and Fujitsu is a POW hit uh, profile. So, Clinicomp, okay, surgical information systems, okay, Lockheed Martin, 